Requesting a letter of recommendation can be pretty daunting. Not only can it be scary to ask for a favor like that, but it can also be hard figuring out who you should ask in the first place. That's why today we'll be going over recommendation letters in the college admissions process, so you'll know exactly what to do and when. First, let's go over the purpose of recommendation letters. As you've probably noticed, most of what admissions officers use to evaluate applicants is self-reported. That means it comes from the applicants themselves. It's easy to make a small bit of community service or a hurdle you faced look really impressive on paper, but it's a lot harder to get someone else to vouch for you, especially if that someone is a teacher. And that's where recommendation letters come in. They give admissions officers or internship directors the opportunity to hear from those around you, like a teacher, coach, or mentor and get their perspective on your record and accomplishments. You don't need them to write a Hollywood script about how you were the greatest, most inspiring student they ever met, but they should come across as genuinely impressed with you and your abilities. Like interviews, a really great letter of recommendation for college could boost your chances, but most of the time, they'll just help you move through the admissions process by not making the admissions officer suspicious. Now that you know what recommendation letters are for, actually getting one will be kind of like doing laundry. There aren't that many steps on your end, but it can take a while because you're relying on external forces to do most of the work for you. Since you really don't want to annoy the people helping you as they're writing your letter of recommendation, we recommend starting this process as early as possible, ideally before the end of your junior year. The first thing you'll want to do is figure out who you want a recommendation from. Each school has different requirements, but most will require at least two letters of rec. So you'll need to think of your recommendations as sort of a package deal. Each letter should speak to a different side of you so that your list of recommendations is greater than the sum of its parts. For example, if you were to request letters from your biology teacher, your chem teacher, and your physics teacher, the letters themselves would probably all sound the same. Having letters from, say, a history teacher, a math teacher, and a soccer coach would probably be a lot more interesting. The first letter, then, should be from a teacher in the subject you plan to major in. The second should come from a teacher or coach who you think knows you best. If there's another authority figure in your life who you'd like a college to hear from, such as a clergy member, a volunteer coordinator, or manager at work, that should be your third recommendation, if the college you're applying to accepts that many. You should only submit an optional third letter if you think it'll add a perspective your current list is missing. They could also take up that second mandatory letter slot, but keep in mind that your teachers will have the most experience writing recommendation letters for college. Okay, you should have an idea now of who you're going to ask, but before you get too eager, take a second to prepare and write up something called a brag sheet. Don't worry, this is more humble than it sounds. It's just a list of accomplishments that will help guide your recommenders when they write your letters. Kind of like a resume. After all, your teachers probably don't have all your clubs and extracurriculars memorized off the top of their heads. You'll want to provide as much information as possible, and it should be tailored to each teacher. If there's something in particular you want them to mention, make sure it's on the brag sheet. Now that you've narrowed down who you're going to ask and prepared materials to help them, it's time to make the jump. We'd recommend asking your teachers in person, but you can email them if you have to. Just make sure to provide as much information as possible. They should have a clear idea of the program you're applying to, your intended major, and anything in particular you want them to focus on, like leadership skills or that time you study for an exam while taking care of your younger siblings. And that's pretty much it. We can't recommend enough that you start this process months before the actual deadline. Your teachers' schedules are already pretty full and you're probably not the only one asking them. If you're running close to the deadline, make sure to check in every two weeks or so to remind them and ask if they need any assistance. We know it can still be intimidating to ask for a letter of rec, but keep in mind that your teachers, coaches, and mentors are your biggest supporters and want you to succeed. If you wanna know more about letters of recommendation or anything else related to college admissions, make sure to visit our website at collegevine.com for a ton of free resources, like our blogs, live streams, and custom chancing engine. And of course, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date on all our upcoming content. Best of luck and see you next time.